Hello and welcome to my spin-off series Why Everybody Plays, a series of mine where I talk about some of the most played agents in Valorant. In this series I plan to talk about certain agents that see a ton of play, whether that's in solo queue, pro play, or a mix of both, and try to explain why they have such high pick rates. I'll be starting the series off by talking about arguably the most played agent in the game, Jet. Jet is Valorant's poster girl. She was in pretty much all of the game's promotional material when it first came out and has been a staple pick in the meta for a pretty long time now. And she currently has one of, if not the highest pick rate in the game out of any agent. So today I wanted to explain why that is, but first I think it's important to mention some of her weaknesses. Her first weakness is that she doesn't have a flash. As a duelist, it's very important that you're able to make space for your team and help open up sites. One of the easiest ways to do that in Valorant is to use a flash because it gives you an advantage over enemies that are holding corners. This was actually such a big deal that when the game first came out, Jet actually wasn't seen as a very strong agent. In fact, when the game first came out, Jet was actually seen as one of the worst duelists in the game, and I would argue that not having a flash was a big part of why that was the case. It wasn't until players started to get better at the game and figure out how to use her kit most effectively that she became seen as such a strong agent. The second big weakness of Jet is her high skill floor. When there's a jet on your team, she either pops off or doesn't do anything, and that's because her barrier to entry is really high. To demonstrate this, let's compare her kit to some of the other duelists. I'm going to compare her to two duelists, Reyna and Phoenix. Reyna has a flash, a heal, her dismiss, and an ultimate that increases all of her stats and lets her heal and go invisible after every kill. For Reyna, the decision making process is very easy. You throw out your flash before you push, and if you get a kill, you choose between pressing E to go invis and reposition, or pressing Q to heal. Her ult is also just free stats, improving her fire rate, reload rate, and giving her a better bullet spread. There isn't a large room for error in her kit and most people intuitively know how to use most of her abilities. They flash before peaking angles, they invis if they're in a sticky situation, and they heal if no one's around and they're low on health. And the mechanics for her are also very simple. You just need to press a single button and she does exactly what you need. Now let's talk about Phoenix. He's a little more difficult of an agent, but not much more difficult. He has a molly that heals him, a flash that curves to go around corners, a firewall that can block line of sight and heal him, and an ult that gives him a second life. Again, with a lot of these abilities, people know how to use them to at least get some value. A brand new Valorant player that picks up Phoenix might not molly a choke point, but they at least know to heal themselves with it. The flash is very straightforward and arguably the easiest flash to use in the game. His wall is a little more complicated for newer players to understand, but they can still heal themselves with it and get some value from it. And finally, his ult is so strong and straightforward that teams can base their entire plan for a round off of it, even at the lowest elos in the game. Now let's compare that to Jet. Most players understand how to use her dash, at least I think so by now. Most players aren't dashing in with a judge anymore, so most people know that you can take a shot and can dash out so that you don't die. But now we get to the rest of her kit. Her updrafts are basically never used by newer players that just don't understand the value of getting into unexpected positions. Her smokes are also not used at all, or a new player just spams all three of them down randomly when they get onto a site, again, barely providing any value. And her ultimate is very strong, but new players also don't really understand when it's the best time to use it either, and just waste it on a round where they didn't need it. Jet's knives are also only strong when piloted by a player with really good aim, so again if you can't aim very well, the ultimate doesn't really do anything for you. Well, alright, we talked about her weaknesses, but I know what you're thinking. They don't really seem that bad, and you would be right. That's why she sees so much play. Her pros far outweigh her cons, and the cons I talked about are mostly irrelevant. So if you're good at the game, or think you're good at the game, there doesn't seem to be much of a downside to picking her. So now let's talk about her strengths. The first strength I wanted to talk about is her mobility. Her mobility is insane and allows for so many options and gives her so much outplay potential. Her dash pretty much eliminates a huge part of the game and team's offensive strategy which is trading. It makes a good jet pretty much untradeable. She can get the first kill and then dash out so that no one on your team can even have the chance to trade the kill. Her dash also allows her to have the best follow up on CC in the game. There have been times when Breach and Jet was such a strong agent combo just because she was so good at following up on his utility since she could dash onto a site after Breach flashes her ults and confirm free kills before enemies had time to react. She also brought an entire meta where buying a judge on attack was strong because she could close the distance on players and then get free kills from short range. If I made a tier list ranking the best signature abilities in the game, Jet's dash would be right at the top of the list. Not only does she have a dash, but she also has two updrafts which allow her to play in angles that most other agents just can't. This allows her to play really weird angles that enemies just aren't expecting, get a free kill because of it, and then dash to safety. On top of having her mobility, Jet's second strength is her ultimate. Her ultimate is really strong when combined with her mobility because she has perfect accuracy while moving and in the air. It makes it really hard for enemies to hit you. 
Another reason why this ultimate is so strong is because it gives you a strong weapon for save rounds. This allows Jet to pretty much always have good eco. When playing as Jet, it almost feels like you never have to save, because when your team does save, you can just pull out your knives and carry around. But if these first two points weren't good enough on their own, they get way better when you combine them with her third strength. Which is that Jet is the best opera in the game, and it's mainly because of the first two strengths I mentioned previously. The Operator is a very strong weapon, but it comes with clear disadvantages that help keep it in check. After taking a shot with it, there's a considerable amount of time before you're able to shoot again, and are left vulnerable for that time. The Operator is very expensive, making it hard to save for, and it's really hard to push onto a site with it, making it not ideal for site retakes. Jet is able to pretty much remove these weaknesses. She doesn't have to worry about the long cockback time of the op, because after taking a shot, she can just dash to safety. Not only that, but her updraft lets her play in unexpected positions which is more deadly with the op than with any other weapon because if you react even a split second too late on an op, you're probably dead. Well, what about the op's price? It's not like Jet can make more money between rounds. Wrong. Did you forget about Jet's ult already? Jet's allowed to save on rounds that other agents would want to buy up with their team because their ult is basically a free gun. Here's an example of a common situation. Your team wins round 1, then your team buys up round 2 and wins the round without losing a gun. Or in my case, your team threw and now you're surrendering, so who really cares about the op? You shouldn't even be playing Valorant at this point. <laughs> Anyways, round 3 you try to win, maybe kill an enemy or two, try to hurt their eco, but lose the round. Round 4 your team buys up, but Jet doesn't. She uses her knives. Your team wins, and round 5 Jet can afford the op, and she didn't even have to throw a round to do it. The last weakness the op has was that it isn't ideal to have when you have to push onto a site. Well again, Jet's ult allows her to get around this because she can pull out her knives for a retake. So, okay, I think I made my point, but there's one last thing I wanted to mention about Jet. I think another big reason why she's picked so often is because of how many high-level players and streamers play her. We have high-level streamers like Tenzin Wardell showing off what can be done when Jet is mastered, and I think that plays a big part in her pick rate. When a player watches a high-level player carry around on Jet and ace with their knives, they want to try her out. We've also all been in a game where there's a smurfing Jet on the enemy team that just hard carries a game. They don't miss, they feel unkillable, and it feels like there's nothing your team can do. Not to mention she's been one of, if not the most powerful duelist in the game for quite a while now. And with that kind of reputation, it's no wonder why everybody plays Jet. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, and if you agree or disagree with anything I've said, leave a comment letting me know. And hit that subscribe button if you want to see more Valorant content.